So the password, like, it's very it's easily protected. In this case, when you do measurement, mm -hmm. you know, this sensitive information, it's, it's fairly tricky to protect it. It's not by no means, you know, the uh, criteria are extremely strict. And, you know, you have to really show that no information will come out about the weather. That's, that's the thing. For example, there was some authentication process which revealed something about you that you don't want to find out, it becomes a privacy problem, right? So then people have to come up with ways to modify the protocol so that those elements of privacy are do not leak through. That is more analogous to, to what we're faced with. Yes? Uh, is this a DOD project? This, uh, this is, so most of this work in the past has been funded by the Department of Energy, not Defense. Uh, in the United States, the um, agency which takes care of the nuclear weapons and does the research in nuclear weapons, for example, secrecy, all that stuff, is part of energy. And then, where is, where is the implementation? Is this happening, or is this just academic papers? So there has been a significant amount, so remember I talked about information barriers. Yeah. There was actually a significant amount of work done in collaboration with the Russians, which was extremely good, in the 90s and about 10 years ago. Okay. But nobody was satisfied by this because both sides concluded that information barriers are just not good enough. And that essentially what pushed people to look for different uh, techniques, completely different approaches towards this problem. And that's essentially what we're doing. Yeah, but I mean, right now, SALT, the, the SALT II treaty, they just had a disagreement, or there was like a disagreement right now. Uh, so the most recent treaty was ago. New START. No, but there was a disagreement just a few months ago uh -huh. about continuing the relationship between both, both parties. And they were blaming each other. Right, but it had nothing to do with, with it. Problem. But if they're having problems with that, this is like a little bit more intimate directly to the weapons themselves. That's right. Yeah. So then like what is the likelihood of seeing ah, this happening? Good question. So in, in the next five years, I don't think it's very likely to happen. In the next 10, 15 years, when both sides will become more normal, I think there hopefully will be some. My hope is the following, that when the blessed day comes, when both sides regain their you know normalcy and are ready to actually do something politically, they don't run into the barrier that unfortunately there is no technological way of doing this, which is what happened in the 90s. In the 90s there were lots of attempts to do this, and they, according to what I was told, they did not succeed because there were no technologies. So yes, I don't think this will get implemented next five years. Next 10, 20 years, maybe. But I think this is so important that if you, even if this happens after 20, 30 years, I'm still willing to, you know, to work with this. Yes? Have you been able to simulate a collision? A collision? Yeah, between, between the to take the two different complete simulation of a warhead, and when you get the hash, they are the same. Ah, good question. Yeah, so, so basically what the checks that we're doing, essentially we're looking, if you will, um, uh, on essential collision between the two, two, two hashes. The thing is that I use the, I use the checksums, it's, it's not entirely accurate, because checksums have this uh, avalanche property, right? You change one bit, it changes the In this case, yeah. Do you mean this cryptographic hash function here? Or is it, what I'm talking about the output of the, of the checksum. So you run MD5 sum on the file, you get the hash. Okay, this is the cryptographic hash, uh, hash function. Then. That's right, that's right. But it has a, typically has an avalanche property. In this case, it does not have an avalanche property. And uh, in this, so, but the checks that we did, what we are checking, right? So we're showing this, this thing. Right? But basically we're asking, if you take two different weapons, will they have the same output or will they have different outputs? Basically, we'll, if their outputs are the same, you have a collision. In this case, we showed that we don't have a collision. Within, sta in a, within a statistical test that we apply, there is no collision for this particular scenario. Well, yeah. your, your process to make a collision? If you make a, if you, so if you take one weapon and modify it by, you know, one thousand of oh, like percent. So we don't think that will, we don't think that there is that. Okay. So you're or actually, a, a more extended answer to that, there may be, but they are not valuable boxing scenarios. Someone can come up with something extremely complicated, but it's so complicated that they uh, might as well just make a brand new one. In which case, it's not a useful box scenario. So your analysis are based on just statistical statistics? The final test is a statistical test between the two spectra. You take two spectra, which essentially contain themselves the information, and you compare them with each other. And you ask themselves, how similar are they? How different are they? Right, that's the very last part. Neutron layer work on each of 
So the idea would be you build, I mean, notion is that you'll build like a facility. There'll be a facility in the United States, there'll be a facility in Russia, and you know, uh, they'll build, like put an accelerator over there. These accelerators are available. They're not very big. Accelerators are, I don't know. Electron accelerator. <laughs> so much not not only technological barriers but also political realities or realities that have to do with sensitivity about information we keep yourself yes are there completely alternative approaches underway that are kind of running in parallel in literature now that may yes. supplant this as an approach or vice versa there is a group in Princeton who is working on another idea where they use fast controls for doing fast control radiography and they came up with an idea that sort of will allow actual real zero knowledge proof of the thing. So it's extremely information secure. But we assigned to a student to come up with ways to hoax that system, and he found like 20 different ways of hoaxing. Uh, so we found that, yeah. Right. Yes? What if there was like a nuclear protocol so that you could just say for the devices themselves, they expose like a USB N port or something, and then you just like plug it in and find out all this information? Instead like, of carrying around all these like, So I mean they call it secret information? Like it's the, the size of the material thing. No, like there's that. like there's like a protocol and the protocol has to emit all of this information that you would have to get yourself. And then, you know, if there's a like say 
Yes. Uh, from the actual manufacturer of the weapon, it yes. must expose this port or something. I don't know. Okay, but the, here's the problem. Uh, you what can still it? verify it. Yes, but what is the port going to give you? It's going to give you some information. The same information you're trying to get by no, here. No, 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 no. Because if you uh, that information has to be somehow filtered in a way so that secret information does not come out. Right. Well, let's just right. say the protocol says these are the things that you were expecting. But in that case, they'll build something which will always produce the same thing. No, but that's why I said you could still have that way to just verify it still. Just, but I'm saying as a matter of policy, yeah. have the kind of agreement that says make this kind of verification be baked in from the beginning of the manufacture, rather than bolting it on as an afterthought. The thing is that there's no way of verifying that whoever is that or bakes it in will do... Will that's a political thing, though. Huh? That's a political question, then. Yeah, but it will disable the political agreement. If, if the Americans, uh, Americans say, you know, if, if the agreement is that the Russians will build a weapon and the Russians will build in this thing inside the weapon that will do the verification, Russians will put in something that will say, yes, it's a real weapon. How do you verify that they have not built something in it? It comes back to the problem of information barriers, that if you rely on electronics, especially if the electronics is built by the side which has interest in cheating, then it's self-defeating. It has to be something is, is something that both sides can trust. So Otherwise, they'll just never trust. It can park in here too. What's trust that? Third, because it's a clever thing. The major problem which nobody likes it is a trusted party. Trusted party. Trust third party. Mm -hmm. So, so, so there's different because if there is no trusted third party, you cannot make signatures, for example, or anything. anything. So there has been lots of discussion about how this is all very abstract. So should we have some, some government of both sides trust, so he can make a deal? So it, for example, it could be the IEA, International Atomic Energy Agency. Right? Uh, but even there, we don't know. It should be public. No, I think it can be. I think oh, it will. if both sides trust, something. No, no, no. Both trust sides trust their knowledge of physics. <laughs> both sides trust their physics. No, no, no. But this is not very. Not, not Here, the cryptography is done entirely through the physics of the process. You don't have to trust the other side. You have to trust your own understanding of what happens here. And you have to do, and the idea is that the Russians, their physicists, will go home. You'll tell them, here's how we're going to do it. They're going to go home, they're going to analyze the things, they're going to say, yes, with this physics process, it's impossible to release any information. 